Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. I'm here with my sister. And as promised on my Instagram, we're gonna be reacting to your secrets and confessions. Do you feel awkwarded out? Are you judgmental? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I'm judgmental. No, I'm actually quite open-minded. And to be honest, I'm far from perfect. <coughs> Maybe she's, the, she's been the perfect one. I've been the rebellious kid anyways. Um, before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one's going to go to Katja Ignacio. So thank you so much for subscribing and hitting that bell button. Um, if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Right, so shall we get started? Are you scared? <laughs> I just don't know what to expect. <laughs> I got so many. Guys, you lot went in. Like, I've got so many that I took screenshots off and then I did it again. Anyways. Oh my god, this one's hilarious. Okay, let's start with the funny one. This is lighthearted. <laughs> um, and by the way, you guys will stay anonymous. There's no judgment here. And obviously, I won't say your names or whatever. Like, it's just not like that, okay? When we were younger, my sis, our friend, and I farted on bean bags and trapped them in jars. <laughs> <laughs> my what? My sister, our friend, and I. But how do you do that? Fart in bean bags and trap them in jars? But then what did you do with it after? Like Maybe they kept it smell it one day. <laughs> See if the smell gets worse. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I have fired it. I fired before and tried to grab it with my hand and go Ch in her face. That's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> My boss made me fall in love with him and told me he loves me. Then I found out he was engaged. <gasps> There's too many wrong That's things like a movie in. Scene. I know, but first of all, leave the boss out of it. Just save yourself some trouble and don't do anything with the boss. Don't you feel like? Yeah, I feel like if you're single, then it'll be quite. It'll be like a Fifty Shades of Grey kind of thing. <laughs> what film do you live like in? Like the boss. <laughs> <laughs> but he's engaged. Yeah. That's such bullshit. Like he's a. I Once would tell. Where... The, I would tell the fiance. I would go to human resources. <laughs> oh yeah, tell the fiance. But the person is in love with the boss too. Ah. So it's a love story, but he's engaged. So does he really love you? Does he really? Because if he was engaged to you, imagine if he done it to another girl. Yeah, I feel like if he's doing it to his fiance, if he was with you, he'd do the same. Exactly. Save yourself some trouble, girl. Trash. <laughs> Coming from a place of love. The police caught me having sex in the car with my ex-boyfriend. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> oh my god. I don't have a car, but would you ever do it in your car? I don't think so. I barely even get my legs out. Don't act like you didn't do it. Well, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Absolutely not. <laughs> Eric's gonna watch this and be like, excuse me. <laughs> if I had a car, would I do it? I don't know. Wait, then you get like a fine. Do you I just prison for it or what happened? I don't know, but like, I just feel like it would be so uncomfortable. But I'm sorry you got caught. Damn, that's that must be embarrassing <laughs> by oh, the yeah, police. I'd be embarrassed. You were like, ma'am. That's literally like a movie scene as well. well what are you doing? <laughs> My cousin liked my best friend and used me to get to her and then fell in love with me instead. Wait, the cousin fell in love with the cousin? Oh my god, I didn't even clock that. I mean, if it's a far, 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 far from a different auntie's uncle... No, I don't think... Sister, I don't know, but like, if it's a close cousin, that is so dodgy to me. Because I, I mean, it's... our cousins. No, I can't. And I just think that's I the can't. worst thing that I could possibly imagine. No. I have no comment. <laughs> I just don't know what yeah. to say. Imagine if they're in a brown family. Is a person brown? Well, probably. I don't know. I've heard they're before it, no? Well, it happens a lot, I think. But close cousins are a bit much. Yeah. But it's happen it happens, I feel like. Maybe not in the UK. Maybe back in the country. I don't know. We should ask mummy. I don't think mummy would hurt, it's more on daddy's side. Yeah. There's some dodgy ones here, I can't say. <laughs> don't look at them. I knocked over food at an auntie's house and blamed it on their cat. I feel like that's so something I would do. Yeah, I'll probably do that as well. Once, there was compote, so like uh, apple compote in the fridge and we were on, all on holiday and this is when we were out with my, my mum was with our stepdad and um, we, we, I was quite young and basically I ate the compote, a spoon and I didn't like it so I put it back in the fridge. I oh, saw so you put your finger in it. How do you know I put my finger in because it? Because it was a finger mark. Oh, I don't remember. Yeah, I remember. So then my stepdad was like, right, we're not going to the beach 
because that's the what, one thing we wanted to do every day was go to the beach and he's like we're not going to the beach until someone confesses and I was like Aisha please tell him it's you <laughs> yeah and I actually did <laughs> and then we went to the beach but you didn't really get in trouble though yeah that's why you guys wanted me to do it exactly so exactly but I'm pretty sure I didn't get ice cream that day at the beach then <laughs> Because they were like, you had compost, you don't need ice cream. Oh my god, remember we would always get Magnum. Yeah. White Magnum. Ah, memories. I have sex with my boyfriend, I'm 17, and my parents don't know. They found a pregnancy test in my bin and they got so mad. I lied and told them I threw it out for my friend. I can't tell them because you know what brown parents are like with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they found a pregnancy <laughs> test and you said, oh... First of all, why would you put it in your bin? I threw it out for my friend. I didn't chuck out the window. <laughs> <laughs> chuck out the window. Or flush it down the toilet. <laughs> no, you can't do that. I would. Yeah, you shouldn't have thrown it in the bin, girl. If you knew your parents, like, if, oh, if I was your age and did it with my mum, mm -mm. I, would, I would bring my the test with me and walk to the shop or somewhere far, like, take the train to, like, North London and then throw it in an outside bin there. Unless you take it and you put it right at the bottom of the bin and you cover it. No, you know how brown parents, they go through the bin. Yeah, true. How many times you see mommy go through the bin? Yeah, it's like, true. what are you looking for? <laughs> Anyways, damn, that was a closed one. You need to be careful. And also, stay safe when you're gonna have sex, okay? You're really young. Um, on to the next one. I want to murder my in-laws because they made my, my life hell. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, you literally make me laugh. I mean... I feel bad for you are bad in-laws. Yeah. I, I have stalked my boyfriend to the point where I know everything. You name it, I know. But no. why do you need to stalk your boyfriend? He's not good, huh? He's your boyfriend. Yeah. There's no trust there. Yeah, that's true, actually. But do you stalk him because you're obsessed or do you stalk him because you don't trust him? I just think any type of stalking is just... You just don't need it in your life. Yeah, people go through like their phones all the time. You don't need that unnecessary stress in your life. Don't be stalking, checking phones. Like, you just don't need it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I find the time you put into someone stalking, you could put that time into someone you really like. And just and trust. Exactly, and just be free minded. Yeah. That would stress me out so much. Yeah. I feel like that's too much pain. Dating my white boyfriend for a year and moved out to uni with him, no longer religious, and my parents don't know. Parents don't know what? That. Well, duh, she's out with a white boyfriend, living out with him in uni, and she's no longer religious. I mean, to me, that's not a big deal, but... <laughs> yeah, what's she gonna do when she finishes uni? Yeah, but you need to tell your parents. Like, this is what I mean. If you're dating outside your... I don't know, culture or skin colour, I don't know. Like, you need to stand your ground. I mean, if you've been, huh? If you've been One with year. the person, does it say year? That's no. you said a year, didn't you? Oh yeah, for a year. I just feel like, it's a year's long, right? Yeah, but to be fair, Daddy doesn't know about me and Eric. He don't? It's been five years. <laughs> yeah, but Daddy's not really in our life. True. Can you imagine not telling mummy? No, I did say She remember. hid it from me, stupid. No, do you remember I told daddy once? I mentioned it. No, mummy mentioned it. And then I joked about it. I like laughed it off to see what he would say. What do you say? And then he was like, he went quiet. He's like, in this life, you need to focus on your education. But that's such bullshit. You need to get your degree. And then you can focus on this, this, this. So basically saying. You don't need that person in your life. Yeah. And then ever since, I never mentioned it again. But that's such bullshit. He said the same thing about YouTube and all that. He's like, oh, you should focus on your studies, get a good job. And that annoyed me so much because I worked so hard on like YouTube and everything. Mm. But yeah, I just feel like if you truly love the person and you've been with them for a while, you need to sit down with your parents. And I've seen with friends and stuff, like they've dated out their religion and their parents come to expect, accept. It's going to be tough in the beginning, sure. But if your tr parents truly love you, they will accept, don't you feel like? And if they don't, then you can always find parents and someone find else. Find a middle ground. I don't know. At the end of the day, it's your life and you, your parents should be happy that you are happy with this person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, even if my daughter, like, if she wants to be of any race, culture, colour, religion, I don't mind. Like, even Muslim, like, it's so taboo in our, in our family. Is it? To be with a Muslim. Well, Daddy would not have that. 
We don't live. He hasn't raised us, and he wouldn't. He, he doesn't live with us. But like, yeah, but he doesn't like Jeremy, and he just wouldn't like approve of Eric. Yeah, but imagine Muslim. Yeah, that's basically every race that. Would be yeah, it's so basically far. everything. <laughs> but like in Indians, like Hindus don't like. They're so against like being with a Muslim, which is so wrong. Like if you're genuinely happy with that person, then what is the issue? Do you know what I mean? I just feel like our generation will understand. We're more understanding. Yeah. But then we're lucky because mommy's quite open-minded. Yeah. Um, I kind of found my best friend's boyfriend attractive. My best friend's boyfriend. Attractive. Mm. Imagine your best friend finds Eric attractive. It depends if it's in a nice way. Like if, if say and I was like, oh, Eric's like really attractive. I'd be like, oh, thanks. But I said this is a confession in secret. It can't because like, whilst you are with that person, they're kind of like having ideas in their head. I feel like your best friend's partner should be off limits. Don't even look at the person in that way. You wanna be in a video as well? I mean, again, we're not perfect. It's coming from a place of love, but... <laughs> no, 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 I don't think you should... Um, even look at your best friend's boyfriend in a way. A pug. I put washing up liquid in my enemy's tea. <gasps> I wanna know who I wanna know who the enemy is and did they drink it? I don't think I would even do that. Washing Ma up liquid. Mummy's done it though. She's done all kinds of <laughs> My mum's a savage. She's a savage. She spat in <laughs> She spat in someone's drink. <laughs> She she spilled. I'm not gonna say who, but she was so annoyed at this person, right? Like she had her reasons. Trust me, okay. Um, and she spilled shoe polisher it all in the shoe. Like she dip, she just dunked the whole the whole bottle in the yeah. shoe. And the person ended up putting the sh the foot in the shoe, and then the, <laughs> the foot was covered in black polish. Um, but that's I just find that funny. I mean, it's not right, right? It's not right. But you just gotta do what you gotta do. If they've done something wrong, then that's what you'd be has doing. A bit of psycho in them. Yeah, would I do that? I probably wouldn't. Yeah, I probably would, to be honest. You would? I wouldn't. I'm too nice. I, I, I think of karma and... I don't know. I love older men and hate when my friends judge me for it. I am 20 and my boyfriend is 31. That's not, not bad. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I mean, I mean, if he was 20 and you were 10, then that's wrong, right? Yeah. But you both are adults. You're both consenting to the relationship. So there's nothing wrong with that. And I don't think your friends... Your friends shouldn't be judging you. I feel like people always have something to say. I mean, she went through it, kind yes, of. I did. I didn't judge you for being bold. No, man. the whole school had something to say about it. But they're dickheads. And now the same people are like, oh, you guys are so cute together. Oh... When That's I why post, you shouldn't like, listen to people. When I post our like anniversary pictures on my Instagram, the same people are commenting saying, "Oh, congratulations." Basically, she was sixteen and he was eighteen. And I went he to school. He was just fired on me. Disgusting. So yeah, sixteen and eighteen is not that bad, but at the time apparently it was. Best not smell it. It best not Wait, come oh. here. Hmm. Hmm. Luna, baby. Why are you, you pushing wait, it on huh? me? Snuck into my uncle's house with my boyfriend to have sex. Snuck into who? <laughs> Uncle's house. Ah. <laughs> Snuck, why don't you sneak into your own house? Uh, have you done sneaking around? No, never. I was so innocent. <laughs> I never had to sneak around. I never had to jump out a window. <laughs> I never left the house late at night without mommy knowing. So like, obviously me and Jeremy are married now, right? But we went through our troubles, okay? No one was gonna accept him when I was starting out with like going out with him. He jumped out the window when my, cause my our stepdad was white, right? And he was kind of racist as well, don't you feel like? Yeah. He was definitely racist. Like the stuff he would say is so disgusting. Obviously we were little and we didn't really understand. Well we did, but we just didn't say nothing. And oh my God, the day, one day I was snuck out at 10 p.m. just pretending to walk out the dog and Jeremy was out and then my stepdad was like, what the hell is she doing taking the dog out? He got so mad. He got so mad. Like he, when he was coming up there, he, upstairs to my room, like he tripped on the stairs. That's how like amped up he was in his head. And then like I've hid Jeremy under the bed, in the shower. And this was when I hid him in the conservatory when my mum didn't know. And my mum would come in my room and he's just literally hiding. In the wardrobe. You know, yeah. So it's okay. 
I mean, to have sex, I mean, how did you even do it? I mean, no, actually, I don't even need to ask that question, do I? <laughs> I have bitten my toenails. Oh, girl. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> oh, no. That's two things I did not like put together. <laughs> if you look at your crusty toenails, I understand Listen, they why. They look okay now because they're painted. They're nasty. Her pinky, her pinky toenail is non-existent. It's like a blood. It's just basically crust. No, it's not. There's a nail there. Look, you can see it. What? Can you not see it? I wish I could film it. Let me see the other one. What is that? It's there. Look, can you no, see it? No, it's crust. No, it goes upwards. Oh my god. Years and years ago, I used to go on dates just to get free food even if i wasn't really interested that is I hilarious like I would do, to be honest. you would do anything for food to be honest True. man i'll just too much effort for me i might as well rather go buy it myself i do it anyways i literally go like far away places just to pick up food maybe she said years and years ago maybe she'll she wouldn't want to spend money on true food. true that see my sister's more understanding I pretended to be 18 and got a non-surgical nose job, but I don't don't regret it at all. Non-surgical? So I think like they put filler on your nose to kind of make it straight. That's not bad. But she pre she pretended to be an 18. What kind of clinic don't check first of all? And I feel like these days young girls look so grown up. But damn, as I, you got away with it. I mean, she has a nice nose now. When I was 16, I literally went to go, so I got so many piercings. I had, I went to get a nose one, I got one here. You got your belly button, your tongue. Yeah, I got everything. And the guy who did my tongue, like he was literally a child. Disgusting. I was crazy back then. Um, oh, was calling your tongue? No. Maybe underneath. Ew. I don't know how I did it, it was so painful. I mean, it healed up, but it was so painful like after you get it done because your tongue swells up so bad. I don't think I could ever. And then I had rice and the rice was getting stuck in the hole. Ew. Oh my God. I called in sick to my last workplace and went to my best friend's graduation instead. I think we all called in sick for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me not talk too much, okay? I got a job. Oh wait, what's oh, yeah, I've done it so that. many times. I had like, like- Well, now you won't have all your brows. Yeah. Oh. I didn't say it at the time because obviously you don't want people to like show up at your workplace and honestly even people when they recognize me they were really respectful like I have the sweetest followers to be honest but like I called so to sick so many times it was mostly for exams I would just call in sick because I hate the people I was in with like I'd look at the road and be like nope not today do you work with some sh dodgy and ass people the only people. person I would tell if I called in sick for fake was an IR yeah, you can't trust nobody. And if you're gonna do it, don't tell anyone. Just don't. The one thing I can't stand is lateness. Yeah, I'm never late. But I can't stand lateness. I'm actually never late. If I'm late, it's because there's really bad traffic or something. I think lateness is my pet peeve. I mean, and if I'm late, I feel so bad. And I have to make it up in some way. I used my dad's brother's razor when shaving. My dad's... Oh, razor. when shaving. Well, if you're gonna be shaving the punani, okay, that's just nasty. They put that on their face. <sighs> Ew. Do you use Abhishek Shaker on Fan's no, razor? That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Sorry, but we're being. We've because been... you don't know where they're putting theirs. Yes. <laughs> and you're putting that on your body. I mean, even if like shaving your leg, like your dead skin cells are like going all up in that raisin and they're gonna use it on their face, like. Can't you pass like sexually transmitted disease that way? No, you can't. I swear you can. Well, yeah, if he's gonna use it on his thing and then you're gonna use your thing, I don't yeah, know. Exactly. But why? I think you can. But what if you? Who said your brother and your dad has sexual transmittable diseases? Well, you don't know that. <sighs> wow, you have no filter. <laughs> Walked three hours just to see my crush for 10 minutes. Ended up dating his brother three years later. Aww. What's so on about that? She said she, she walked three hours. <laughs> she walked three hours for nothing. <laughs> no, she didn't walk for nothing because then she's with the brother now. She just walked three hours with the wrong person, but it was in the same household. Okay, she finds it romantic. I mean, congratulations, girl. You got a good workout at the same time. <laughs> Three hours. That's long. Been hiding my boyfriend from my parents since two years. Same girl. Yeah. I mean, 
if you're really close with your parents, you need to tell them. If you don't care about their opinion, don't tell them. That's what I say. But they should love you no matter what. It, no matter who you're with. It doesn't change you as a person. Luna, you I best not that press that right. bell. I told my colleague I liked him and he said he liked me back, but now I don't know what to do. I feel like it's okay to like your colleagues. I mean, it's fine, but that's very awkward. Like That'd be a nice story to tell to your future kids. Just, just maybe like message him or something. Yeah. Cause they said they like each other. So what's next? Yeah, I've hit message. Like, do you want to go for a drink? Like, it's okay for the girl to ask, you know. It doesn't always have to be the guy. You should message and go for drinks and then, yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want a part two, let me know. I feel like this was a cool, like, girl talk kind of video. Um, I find this one. Girl! We'll go let her go. The dog needs to go out. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. My sister also has a channel now, so do subscribe to her channel. I'll link, leave a link in the info box. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye!